you're saying is strong. It's courageous to be able to say we need to mind our own business and get involved when we need to. But how many of those Democratic presidential hopefuls who will be debating tonight in Miami are going to say and stand for the things that Ron Paul is saying? Well, unfortunately, I only know of one, and that's Tulsi Gabbard. She, she'll she speak this same language, but they're not going to pay any attention to her. And if she did get popular, you know, they're not going to give her the coverage. So, yes, it's rare, but uh, she is one. Uh, but the rest are all warmongers. But yeah, I think even when you come up with our candidates, like in uh, when George W. Bush was running, his foreign policy was sounding this way because he knew a lot of people would uh, rally around it. But the problem is they don't really believe it. They go in, they're influenced by the military industrial complex and all the lobbying going on. And uh, money talks, unfortunately, in Washington. And uh, there's a lot of jobs involved. One thing that I'm amazed at, Rick, on this, what's going on right now, is our administration and the chief officer of our administration is not hiding from the fact that, well, we want to sell these weapons. This is good for business. <laughs> it's good for jobs. And, you know, and he says it, has said it a couple of times. Most of the time, they just lie about, oh, no. Of course, we've had a term for that is military Keynesianism. You know, the left always went, well, we have to produce jobs. Well, the conservatives want to produce jobs. We'll build more weapons. That, but that's one reason why when they build these weapons, and uh, even single weapons sometimes involves activities and manufacturing in all the states, and that puts pressure on all the congressmen. They might not even agree. But, you know, I have a plant there. I have 5,000 people <laughs> working there. I can't vote against this. So they, they don't stand up against yeah, it. It's So you haven't heard that we're the ones covering the stories that you won't see covered anywhere else? In Venezuela, Kazakhstan, let's go to Hong Kong. And the media reaction to that has been crickets. How about the way we cover those stories? What the hell does that mean? Wally, Wally, Wally. That's the key word in this case, uprising. Keep, can you believe that? Watch it. This is the right thing for members of the media to do, to actually pick sides. Look, if you like what you see, subscribe.